I used to have these dreams about my dad's cat. <laughs> you know, a tractor? <laughs> well, anyways, I used to have these nightmares that it was chasing me. Well, my dad wasn't driving it, though. No. But, you know, when you're little and you're just this tiny kid and this thing is just massive. Well, anyways, in my nightmares, well, we had these willows that I used to play in in Carlotta. And in my dreams, this thing is chasing me and just flattening everything. Oh, my God, I was so scared of it. I think the danger in smaller timber is you're going fast. You're going so damn fast. That and the trees don't weigh as much. So you're not making as much money. Always safer to cut bigger timber. When those trees fall, they are going to hit the ground. There is no two ways about it. Whereas you have a small Douglas fir like that over there, you can cut it down and fall it through those bushes, and that thing is so light that it'll teeter and the butt end could come back at you. But if you have a six or seven foot thick tree, oh, there is no way, nothing in the world can make that butt end come right back at you. When that tree falls, it is going to hit. Danger is just part of the job. You can't think about it all the time. Some wives put it to the side. You just go on out there and make that paycheck. <laughs> My philosophy, I give him over to the Lord when he walks out that door, and then I take him home when take him back when he comes home. You know, the feeling at the end of the day, when you're coming down off the hill, and you're thinking the front end of this thing could fall off at any moment. But this son of a bitch will get me home, because I deem it will get me home. It's okay to break down on the way to work. But on the way home, on the way home, every cell in your body is just vibrating at a pace that is... I know exactly what you're talking about. Endorphins. Yes. You're addicted to the endorphins that you feel during the course of the day. I firmly believe that. Because on the way home, on that ride, somehow you just feel transformed. Sometimes he would come home so tired from the day, he would fall asleep in his truck in the driveway, and I would have to go out and wake him up. Exactly, because you have survived the day, and you're going home to be with your family, and it's nice and warm and safe. The drive home can be just as worrisome as the day itself. Because they could fall asleep on the road. And lately, he has to drive so far to get to a job. The gas, the time, it all adds up. Oh yeah, that's the thing. You're going home. He comes home, and I gotta keep the kids quiet, because he goes to bed at 8.30 before them and gets up at 4 a.m. So tired. Every bone in his body is tired. That's because you're facing danger. Every single day you're facing danger. Somehow there's a thrill to that. There is. Oh. You know, sometimes I wonder if he's going to be completely worn out by the time he retires. Or if there'll be anything left for me. You courted me so heavily. You just would not give in. I never knew a logger ran. I said I never will. But the dam broke loose and love came free to your up and ready charm. I looked at you and said I do, and I knew I bought the farm. What that road hand in hand that overlooks our life. Coached their teens and made their meals when jobs were looking slim. The kids got so excited to hear your truck on the street. And you would look so goddamn tired and oh, those stinky feet. <laughs> we walked that road hand in hand that overlooks our lives. And it's and worn your knuckles torn so tender and so strong. of you out on the job. I put my faith in someone else to bring you home alive. 
bright day, not a cloud in the sky, the laundry on the line. Your shirt a blowing in the breeze like your arms were waving goodbye. Then the call came in, and I hung up thinking, why do they say that? Your boots came home, your truck did too, and your dented old tin hat. We walked that road hand in hand that overlooks our lives. Hands callous and worn, your knuckles torn, so tender and so strong. And I know we'll walk together from this point from now on. We walked that road hand in hand that overlooks our lives. Your hand in mine, your knuckles torn, so tender. this reoccurring dream. I have a dream and it's probably connected to my knee problems. Now my body is holding up. You walk up through your strip. It's the end of the day. To get to your truck, you're walking through your standing timber and you're looking at what is going to come next. Always when you walk, you look down a row and you see what is going to be coming next. The next, the next day. day in the next week. In my dream, I come across this redwood that is so huge. It is monumentally huge. A hundred feet around. I look at it. It is in my strip, so that means it is my responsibility. I look at it. How am I going to cut it? I have no idea how to fall this one. In my dream, I look up, and it is just a clump of these huge redwoods. And they, and they just, just... Oh. 